66 year old female, she's found to have a polyp that is behind this fold here in her cecum. It's right across from the IC valve. But uh, this is the lesion right here. And the question is, how can we get at this lesion? So let's go underwater and see how it looks here behind this fold. There it is. All right, so it is floating. I just need to get this at 6 o'clock. And then we determine the size of the snare. But uh, it, you can see how underwater we really get great access now to it. I would say we're not going to make any diathermic dots. Let's, it's pretty long. So let's use a 33. We'll obviously get a lot of tissue on the side. But we need the larger snare because of the length. So I'd like to get this on block. So let's see if we can get this snare to open. I'm hoping it will and that it won't, that the tip will sort of anchor at the very top. That may or may not happen. OK, let's open the snare, please. OK. Take the near focus off for a moment. So you can see I've got that tip there. Maybe I can swivel around. I need to have one of my nurses hold the uh, scope. Because I've got to rotate this. I need to rotate this. Maybe by pushing in, having it float up like this. But I'm going to let all of this just sort of float up nicely. And this is very different from when you do polypectomy with gas where you want to see everything here, all I want to know is that it, it's, it, it has floated up. And I think now we can start to close already because it really has floated up nicely. Now the question is whether the top slipped. I think it did. Open? Yeah. So I don't want that to happen. I want to be able to get that top part. So let's see if I can see just well enough where the tip is. See that uh, snare here? that the wire, the, wire, the tip, of, tip is going off. I want it to anchor right there. So it's not going to anchor well right now. So I'm going to ask you to give me a little bit of um, injection, some mucosal, and I'm going to tunnel in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make an injection using the pin, pinpoint needle. It's three millimeters long. And uh, now, I get a lot of paradox here, but let me just sort of see if I can orient myself so that I could find a nice spot where I would want to hook the tip of my snare right, right here. Okay, out please. Okay, Inge inject please. Okay, and we're pulling back. We are getting a nice web. Excellent. Okay, that's good. Stop. Good. So we got a nice crimp on the, the very tip of the snare. It's, then, it's extending outside of the sheath, but maybe that crimp will help me hook the tissue here. So let's see if that works. Because the problem is if I tunnel in there, usually the tip falls out. So I'd like to be able to hook it. So let's advance the tip out a little bit and let's see what the orientation. See, that I've got a little hook here. All right. So what I want to do now is I want to hook it. If you could hold the scope here. and we, Unfortunately, we get this paradox where I push in and it goes backwards. I'm staying underwater for now. And I want to go to where this bleb is. And I'm going to hook this with some cautery. So we have the cautery hooked up? OK. So I want to see if that's possible to hook this like this. It, of course, uh, I pull back a little bit on the snare because I don't want to get that cautery. I want the cautery just going to the very tip. One moment. I've got to get a little bit more water here so I can see. That's good. I think, it's, I think the hook is in there, right? Or no? Not really. It just sort of, yeah, it doesn't really uh, hook in. You almost need to make a little uh, cut. 
The, the key is, uh, and the, you can't rotate this, can you, so that the hook goes downward? No? Okay. Yeah, push out a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. Yeah, so the, the issue is just how to, and I'd have to like put a needle knife in there or something to, and it's the orientation of the, yeah, it's not really hooking in. Well, I don't know that in the end when I come out. If I just need to get this to go into the, I'm trying to turn it so that the hook catches the submucosa. And all of this is very safe because, you know, I've got a nice submucosal bleb. It's like literally has to be the opposite direction, but it won't turn, right? It won't rotate. I'm kind of stuck with this orientation. Okay, yeah, 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 that's good. Uh-huh, okay, that's great. Now let's see if we can hook it in here. That's great. And it's pure cutting current, yes? Auto cut, yeah. Trying to see if I can. Okay, it's in. Look at that. See? I've got it in there. Now, see, the idea is to anchor the tip so it doesn't move. All right, so now I want you to slowly open. And hopefully, it'll stay there. Okay, it's opening. So that, that tip, I think, is staying there. Now I just need to get the snare in the right orientation. There's a bit of deformity because what I'm seeing is that the snare is open up at the top. The tip is, is anchored. Maybe a little far away from the polyp. That's could have done it closer. But I think I but at least it's staying there. Start to slowly close. Okay, one second. And keep closing, please. Close. Yeah, I mean I'm gonna have to assume that the tip is anchored and therefore I'm going to get the entire lesion on block. I can't see the backside, unfortunately, but let's take it off. Okay, go through. Cut. Good. Let's see uh, how that works on the backside. Okay, I'm slowly pulling back. So that's where the anchor was, you see, right up there. See the little hole? And now what I want to see is if I got the entire lesion longer too. Look, look at that, not that here. Now I'm going to look at the margins. Yeah, this looks really good. Let's put the gas on. Now you'll see the gas view. I've insufflated CO2. We see the anchor point for the tip of the snare that we bent backwards on itself a little bit. That's where it was anchored. And then we were able to place the snare longitudinal here along the fold. And now we can see that surface. I'm just looking at the margins to make sure that everything looks clean. I think this is all good. We just get some biopsies from the margins. And then we'll close this with uh, with a couple of clips. All right. So now this is the back edge, and I can try to do it with gas. Here we go. All right. So let's open the silver, please. That's the top one, and we want to get that post. You see the post with the little alligator jaws. We want to dig that into the submucosa. So I've got to retract so that I can get that post in the submucosa, and then slide that post under the mucosa here, and now close, please. Good. So now we have a nice flap of mucosa, and we're going to just pull this over to the other side. See, there's like a valley in between there. Okay, let's open the gold now, please. Okay, it was just shy. There we go. Perfect. Now close, please. Excellent. Deploy. Good. So now we've closed this, 
kind of like a handbag, right? We close the purse on the top or pull a, pull a blanket over this. But that just protects it. Now the question is whether we can throw a couple more clips to close it completely. The reason why I like to close it is because uh, fat tissue is very vascular and so it, it often bleeds afterwards. The question is whether I can get a good, maybe we'll go underwater and look because it's really hard to get there. Let's see if this helps us. Open. Rotate. That's good, right there. Okay, now I just need to push in a little bit like this and close, please. Deploy. I think that was good. It floated up nicely. Good. I think we got that. That looks good, really good. 